Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to finally this first stream in our Monkey Island, the secret of Monkey Island playthrough. I don't know why it's taken us this long to get to this, but it's about time. And if you don't know, if you're new to the stream here, it's kind of what I've based the whole stream on. The layout, the sound effects, the little icons up top there. The whole thing is based around this game, or this series, I guess, in a sense, so. But if you're here watching live, thank you for stopping by. It looks like we've got Gabe here, possibly. That was a little while ago. Uh, if you're watching After the Fact on YouTube or anywhere else, thank you so much for stopping by. So the setup's a little bit different. We're back to playing on the computer for once. This is actually a game that's going to work, I hope. I tested it out a little bit. Um, that's going to actually work on the computer and stream at the same time. So I'm not playing on console. We're playing the actual computer version. It's the CD version, I guess. So it's got none of the... And Lord 7 is here as well. What is up? So it's the old original like DOS version, but it's got none of the voiceover. So it's not the special edition. So um, it is definitely one of my favorite series. Uh, the original three trilogy of Monkey Island. I love the old point and click games um so it's definitely one of my favorite series um this you know Mega Man Zelda those are kind of my top three like series I guess if you want to say it. but um but yes I love the Monkey Allen stuff and it's been a while since I've actually got around to play the old uh, the old game so we will get through all three at least the original trilogy and then uh I don't know we'll see eventually we'll get to all three but we're gonna start off with the first tier so let's just kind of get right into it then. The music here, as always, is Anna Music. Check them out at animusic.com or over on YouTube under Anna Music. So, like I said, the setup is a little bit different, so I'm trying to move everything around a little bit here because I'm actually going to be playing on my computer screen. So, like I said, hopefully this works. Tested it out earlier today. It seemed to work. So let's start right. Um, yes, it was. Uh, it was well yeah you'll see it in the uh in the well i'm gonna get the game up you'll see it in the uh the opening credits here i'm gonna let the whole game go with the opening and the theme and everything so let's get going here i've got to bring up the right window there it is in all of its gloriousness some of the best music too but yes tim schaefer did uh Tim Shaver did work on on this. <clears throat> so, oh, there it is. Fantastic. Yeah, right there. Produced, written, and programmed by Tim Shaver, Dave Grossman, and Ron Kimmel. Yeah. What is up, G Shot? Money Island, give me a banana. Probably, probably Monkey Island. But <laughs> what is up? <clears throat> yeah, and this is also uh, for those that uh, were with us during which Star Wars game was? There was a couple during the whole Star Wars week. I talked about our family friend that actually worked with Lucas Arts. She was the uh, the president of international marketing. Um, she actually was working for them, I think, back during this time, too, in the 80s. She was working with them for a while. So I think her name is in the credits, at least in the end credits, not here in the beginning. But... So I'm going to try to to do the, the voiceover, you know, read the text. Uh, it goes by pretty quick. <clears throat> I think there's... I think there may be a setting. I'm using the CD, but I'm using the scum... The scum VM, or the scum whatever it's called... Uh, yeah, Scum VM, which is, uh, let me pause here real quick. Let me see if I can bring up the, uh, Shadows of the Empire, is it what it was? What's the, here we go. Isn't there an option for speech, no, speech volume, oh, speech speed, here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to turn it down just a little bit, because I can skip speech with, um, with the, uh, the period key here. So here we go. Sorry about the break in the opening, but here we go. Our hero. Hi. My name's Guybrush Sleepwood, and I want to be a mighty pirate. Yikes. Don't sneak up in me like that. Uh, I'm over this way. Ah. <laughs> well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Still seems like it's fast. Hold on a second. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. 
Um, I was debating maybe if I make it eight, like that mean it's slower. Um, I was debating if I wanted to do the special edition that has all the voiceover and stuff, but I don't have the computer version of it. Um, oh wait, yes I do. Nah, crap. It doesn't matter. We'll just do the original here. Um, let's see if this goes slower then. I see. So you want to be a pirate, eh? Yeah, so that makes it slower. Okay. You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. <clears throat> um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right, right. Thanks. And yeah, you'll notice some of these little musical interludes and stuff are the ones that I use for all of our uh, all of our alerts and everything. So, all right, now that I should have waited, now that we're at a spot here, let me put it down maybe to about five. <clears throat> Gotta get Battlefront 2. I played it on Sunday, and now you're hooked, really? Let's put it at about five. Subtitles only? Speech only? Speech and subtitles. Well, there is no speech, so that's fine. <clears throat> All right, so yes, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a classic point-and-click game from the 80s. You essentially click to move your character. You can tell him to look, open. You can see give, close, pick up, look at, talk to, push, pull. So, And so you can walk to the poster, or you can right-click, and it does a a preferred action or, you know, what you're supposed to do. So, Oh, shoot, wait, what does that say? I missed. Re-elect Governor Marley. I mean, there's only one candidate. There's only one choice. Yeah, the, the voiceovers do make it a lot better. But <clears throat> I thought doing the classic... The classic game would uh, would be the best, I guess. So maybe one day we'll come back around and do the... Uh, so yeah, so here we go. Here's the scum bar. Let's do it. Ah, uh, yes. So I'm going to take my time, I'm going to talk to the characters, I'm going to get the whole flavor of the game and whatnot, so. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town? And then, yes, you get to pick your own options. My name's Guybrush Threepwood, I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? Ha <laughs> ha. That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Don't worry about a thing. I don't know, I kind of like Guybrush. But it's not even a name. What a simple game. It is simple, but it's going to get difficult as we go. Well, what's your name? My name is Mancomb Seepgood. So it brings you to Melee Island TM anyway. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm here seek my seeking my fortune. Oh, you have had you. You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. <clears throat> they are pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. <clears throat> where can I find the governor? Governor Marley? Her mansion is on the other side of town, but pirates aren't, aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Why not? Well, the last time she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. Okay, come on, there we go. Uh, it's made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. How's that? Well, there's a whole big story about what happened next, but I don't believe a word of it. Estevan over there at the table might be able to tell you about it. He takes the whole thing seriously. Very seriously. Uh-oh, looks like my grog is going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island, TM. And some of these people we can't talk to, they're all passed out. I don't think it's wise to wake a sleepy pirate. Don't want to bother them. I think I can talk to this guy. No, this guy. You got lucky on Star Wars Card Trader? What are you looking at me for? 
Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah, so what? <clears throat> Who's this pirate that's bugging the governor? The Chuck? He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did. <laughs> then things really got ugly. <clears throat> so what's so scary about this LeChuck guy? Uh, he dissed your name but helped you. <clears throat> LeChuck was a fearsome pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island TM. But a mysterious storm came up and he sank his sh and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. Oh, really? You got the A win concept. Sweet. Uh, we thought that the end of the fear we thought that was the end of the fearsome pirate LeChuck. We were wrong. So what is the secret of Monkey Island TM? Only LeChuck knows. He still sails the water between here and Monkey Island TM. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That's why we're all in here and not out pirating. Uh, I'm looking for a dartboard. I'm looking for a dartboard. Why not? I forget what everything in this game pretty much. Not really. Dartboard. We don't have any. We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. Uh, what happened to your eye? <clears throat> Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... Hey, wait a second. That's none of your business. <laughs> Where can I get a drink? A drink. You could wait for the cook to notice you, but that could take all day. Just find a mug and sneak into the kitchen. That's what we all do. Look, this whole LeChuck thing's made me pretty shaken up, if you don't mind. All right, and I think the only other guy we can talk to... I think they're busy. Uh, I think this guy. This is the loom guy. Yeah. Hi. Hi yourself. Hi. Nice hat. Hi. <laughs> uh, so tell me about loom. Maybe this will perk him up. Oh, you mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilms and Brian Moriarty? Yep. It's an extraordinary adventure with the interface of magic advertisement. <laughs> Stunning high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticating score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects. Elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magical spells. I need to restart my playthrough of Day of the Tentacle. Nice. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. And... Sorry, but on some topics, I just get carried away. Nice talking to you. I thought he'd say I there, but he says I here. Yeah, there it is. All right. Can we talk to the dog? Grr. Oh, he says grr. Uh, let's say rough. Rough. Arf, rough. <laughs> woof, woof, arf, woof. Roof Melee Island TM. <laughs> A roof rough. LeChuck. <laughs> roof LeChuck. Roof 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 rough rough. Roof roof. <laughs> I wonder what they actually. Governor Marley. Ooh. Ooh ooh. ooh. Baru rough rough. Our roof. Let's check. <laughs> okay. I can skip through all this, can I? Earth, uh, Monkey Island, sniff sniff. Okay. Alright. There's some important looking pirates over here. There we go. Grim Fandango is definitely in my top five games. I've never really played through the whole game, so I would like to actually get to doing that uh, one day. Alright, we gotta talk to these pirates, see if we have what it takes to become a pirate. What ye be wanting, boy? Uh, I mean to kill you all. Uh, get lost, boy. You bother us. 
All right. Uh, I want to be a fireman. Get lost, boy. You bothers. All right. You got to try all the all the things. What'd you be one, boy? <clears throat> Snack time. Oh, man. You're going to make me hungry. I want to be a pirate. <laughs> so what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget. We're short on help because of this whole let Chuck thing. So? So, no pirate means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Alright, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through... The three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword, the art of thievery, and the quest. The what? Treasure hunt, the sea urchint. Right. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and uh, treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. <clears throat> and then you must drink grog with us. Grog, grog, grog. <laughs> All right, so we have three trials we've got to go through. So tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get you a sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Okay, easy enough. Oh, you'll want to find someone to train you first. There we go. Ha ha. Imagine trying to take on the sword master without any training. Ha 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 ha. All right, and art of thievery. About stealing, what do they want? <clears throat> we want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands. In the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside of town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. They're a particular vicious breed. You might be able to drug them or something. Alright, and then... More about the treasure hunting. What do they want? Legend has it there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, TM, and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? You can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot. R -R. Alright, so... Let's ask him what's in the grog. Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene. Prol pro oh, it's going too fast. Artificial sweeteners. Sulfuric acid. Rum. Acetone. Red dye number two. Scum. Axle grease. Battery acid. And or pepperoni. And you can probably imagine it's one of the most caustic, vo volatile substance known to man. The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> All right, I must be running. <clears throat> Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. All right, so I need to move a little bit here. So um, I want to try to sneak into the kitchen, I think. The cook is supposed to come out, I thought. Hold on a second. I have to pause that. Let's walk to it. Hey! You can't come back here. I think if I if I sit here and wait, I think he comes out. Oh, I just noticed there's a skull above the door. I never noticed that before. Oh, there he goes. Cozy to the fireplace. Alright, there we go. Now we can go in. And then I can get, I can pick up this. Yeah, pick up the hunk of meat. 
I think if I push P, pick up. And let's pick up the pot. I kind of know what you need to get here. And I need to pick up the fish. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Uh, oh, I need to step on this board. Ugh. There it goes. Get it. There we go. All right, cool. So we've got some inventory. What is up, Cochranizer? Okay. No, let's go. Here we go. Close the door behind us. All right. So that part I remember. It. We got to get all those items. <clears throat> let's take a look at them. Look at the hunk of meat. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Someone cooked a head cheese in this, and I think it's a herring. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, three years. Three years what? I'm sorry. Ooh, we get some LeChuck story. Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck's ship lies anchored in a river of lava. <clears throat> Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, no, sir. Nothing like it, uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Almost three years, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Glad glad to be dead. You're, oh, crap, I skipped it. Oh, yes, sir. I feel so lucky that you happened to capture the ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. I think they got the music still a little too loud. Yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what's what was it you disturbed me for? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Well, you see, we have a problem on Melee Island, TM. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young. Inexperienced. Probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Don't know why I bring the problem to him. Wait. I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. And there's a little side quest of LeChuck. So I'm going to turn volume down just a little bit more again. Let me just go back in here just to check how the volume is real quick. Yeah, almost three years of streaming. We'll be, uh, three years will be up in... That's a little low, so... Uh, three years in, um, April, May-ish. So, just about. All right, let's go back out. We got to do some exploring now here. See, in the original version, it was they didn't have the pictures. It was just the list they had. So this is like the special edition of the original version, but not the newer special edition where they revamped everything, which the game looks really beautiful, and I love the voiceover work that they got. So. So I forget. Right, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. First off. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? No, I, I do not. Uh, no, I don't. Never mind. Good night. <laughs> well, I want to talk to you a little more. Excuse me, but do... Oh, it's only you again. There is a lot of areas that there's no noise or sound, so it'll just be my voice. I just want a map. How do we know he has maps? <clears throat> Burb. That code? What? Can you tell me that code again? Shh. Pipe down, will ya? That ugly sheriff might be around here. Now then, let's talk business. That's weird. It skipped over. You want to buy a map of the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, TM? 
Sure. Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only a hundred pieces of eight. No thanks, I don't have enough. No thanks, I don't want. Well, no thanks, I don't have enough money. I don't have any money right now. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. Well, I want to talk to you again. I'm going to skip through all that. I have enough money. Okay, so it's just right to the money. Okay. All right. I think the clock always shows 11 o'clock here. Hey, you don't mess with my rat. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, if you put your mouse over it, it triggers. I said don't pester the rat. <laughs> All right, let's just talk to him. <clears throat> hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Uh, yes, I love rats. I can't stand them. Yes, especially in a light wine sauce. Uh, yeah, I love rats. They're very intelligent creatures. Ha ha ha, coom. <laughs> More intelligent than him. Why, there's a story around these parts about a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from the fabled Monkey Island TM. Oh, that's not right. It's actually a group of monkeys. That's amazing. But true. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get better of old Stan in a deal. I thought it was rats. Uh, do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Sure. Want to buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like that birdcage liners you get from that from that clown across the street. <laughs> okay. No, just kidding. These are actual copies of the minutes from the last meeting of the Melee Island TMPTA. Can't even give them away. <clears throat> Want one? Uh, no thanks, no thanks. No, but I'll take one if you give me... No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> so he gives me the minutes and two pieces of eight. Well, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. So are you guys pirates? A wandering circus troop. Excuse me. Uh, but this rat scared away the elephant. <laughs> Shut up. Of course we're pirates. Can't buy any clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? It's in the keg. Nothing. See you later. How come you guys are street corner on the ship looting, pillaging? Uh, what's in the keg? Rum, jam. Uh, <laughs> jam, rum. <laughs> uh, rum and jam. <laughs> it's an old pirate favorite. Everybody knows that. It's really interesting in this pirate. I'm really interested in this pirating thing. I'm really interested in this pirating thing. What do you want? Um, nothing. See you later. How come you're not in the street corner? You're on the street corner and you're not on a ship looting, pillaging, sacking, and that sort of thing. Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are totally unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now operating out of Monkey Island. So we've been pursuing alternative means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working well until the rat scared off the elephant. Now you've depressed us. Go home. <laughs> my luck continues on Star Wars Co Trader. Got my first masterwork in Oh, really? Cool. Part of me thinks maybe I should just do the remastered version. If I could get it working. I don't know. I just wanted the classic. The classic. I mean, if you guys don't mind me reading it all. So we got two pieces of eight. Let's look at the two pieces of eight. I have two pieces of eight. Let's look at the minutes. I'm sure a lot of spelling errors. Can I open up this door? I forget which doors you can open up. Walk to sign. Look at sign. Ye old rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shop. 
Serving you rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle needs for over 50 years. We can't open that? Oh, I thought you could open that door. Okay. But some doors you go into, you end up going to another side. Yeah, I forgot about that. And then this one isn't a real door either. Hey, what's this guy? I can't talk to him. Um, and then I think this door and this door are real. Oh, no, this one then. This is the shop, I think. Let's see. Oh, no. Ooh, this is the... Uh... Look at the statue. No, thanks. I'd rather not touch any of these creepy voodoo stuff. This is the voodoo place, yeah. Gee, I wonder what's in those baskets. Look at the chicken. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Can I pick it up? Ah, now I got a chicken with a pulley in the middle. Can I pick up bones? No thanks, I don't know that touch any creepy voodoo stuff. Pick up the chalice. No, I can't pick up the chalice. Cool. Oh wait, no, no, no. Wait a second, what am I talking about? I need to walk all the way over. There's more to this place. Ah, I forgot. May I help you with... What may I help you with, son? My name's Gavrish Thiebwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. How much for this keen-looking chicken? Can you read palms? Am I going to be rich? Can I read palms? Am I going to be rich? So, my mind-reading skills tell me in your future you are interested in. It is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen. No, don't tell me a thing. Life should be on Yes, tell me everything. Getting a vision. Ooh. I see you taking a voyage, a long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah. I see. What? See what? I see a giant monkey. <laughs> Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Gross. Wait. It is all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see you will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. <laughs> what kind of things? No. The time is not right to know. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know that. When will be our purpose? Yikes! Can I walk back? Is she gonna be there once I go back? <clears throat> hello, hey, I'm back. I'm ready to know about my future. Let's say hello. Hello? Guess no one's here. Alright, cool. So I guess we just were able to take the chicken with a pulley in the middle. I'm guessing that's gonna come in handy eventually. We look at the clock. 10 o'clock. No, it says 11 o'clock. Actually, it's kind of right before 11, but not 10. So it's not 10. Anyways, let's walk through the rest of the town and see what else there is.